Uh, what were the highlights of the European Year for Development in your country? Well, for me, definitely it was during Latvian Presidency event for women in economic empowerment. Because this year is for sustainable development goals. And I think one of the most missing parts in the world architecture, uh, governance architecture, is the role of women. And I believe this event brought uh, additional uh, courage to take the right decisions in September in New York, in including women empowerment as one of the most important sustainable development goals. Uh, what did you find exceptional? What was exciting for you? Well, for me, it's everything that relates to the development is ex uh, exceptional. But I think for me, the event that was more exciting was two Latvian guys traveling through African continent and connected with uh, school children. Because for me, development agenda is basically African agenda. Because all other continents have more dynamic. Africa still needed dynamic. And we know so little about Africa, and we have, a, well, such a stereotype thinking. So for me, it was definitely the most entertaining event. Understand that it doesn't change a lot, but for my country, it was very, very important. Uh, what were the outcomes in your country? Well, uh, I think uh, we are living in exceptional years this year. All the refugee crisis brings also some debate about root causes and also about the people that are now coming to Europe looking for political uh, support and political uh, asylum. And in this respect, I believe the knowledge created gave an opportunity to explain to the society that um, the root causes of migration is definitely war and poverty. And the people in other countries are really also that are coming to Europe are worth to be included in our society if they need protection. So it's not a perfect story, but I believe in a way it provided us for my country uh, some type of bridge to better understand what happens now in Europe. What future challenges do you see? Well. Uh, I believe that the biggest challenge is not to think about Fortress Europe. Because today a lot of thinking is well about two issues, how to protect external border, it is important, no question. Second, how to integrate people that came as refugees for Europe. And at the same time, uh, there is less evidence of willingness to deal with root causes of, uh, of poverty or migration. And uh, I will just give one example. Commission proposed a fund, 1.8 billion euro trust fund for Africa that could be disbursed quickly and ask for support from member countries. I am proud that my country decided to take part, but a lot of countries are hesitant or hesitant with financial resources. And I think the bigger engagement is really to discover courage for development cooperation cause. Without it, I believe. Uh, we have an unsustainable situation both in our neighborhood but also in Europe. So I believe that is a, uh, the biggest challenge. And as soon as we understand this paradigm, as better we will deal with the challenge we have now. Uh, what do you expect from European governments and the EU as a common strategy for development cooperation policies? Well, what I would expect, I think, a step change in it. First of all, in the level of means allocated, this famous 0.7% of GNI should not be struggle, but should be the, well, I, I would say, fact of the life. I think that is the first financial means. And second, I would expect more pooling of resources. Because being involved in development cooperation for quite some time, we tried just to build loose cooperation on the goals, on some projects, but we never have very complete machinery trying to address the root causes of poverty, instability, war uh, together. So I would say, uh, well, perhaps it sounds uh, a bit too ambitious, uh, but very, I would say, centralized system something like we have inside the EU for structural funds. That would be my wish because I believe that uh, 
today's systems that we have very decentralized with different well, ambition, it's very difficult to expect coherent results. And I believe that we really need to get a more, more model, or stronger model of cooperation and integration of development cooperation policies from the 28 member countries and the European Union.